Let's say hello to Conway Twitty. Hello, darling. <laughs> How are you, Walter? You know, I thought about putting that uh, putting that record on and just letting it say it. You know, <laughs> that was a strong song. That was a good one. It's still a good one. It's, it, st- it's still one of the strongest things we do on the stage. It's amazing. What uh, What are the most requested of the songs that? Uh, okay, hello, darling. Linda on my mind. You never been this far before. Only make believe. Oh yeah, That's only make believe. Really, really strong, super you know, strong. I talked to your daughter, uh, oh, not too long, Jessica. Jessica. And uh, I told her, I said, uh, and you don't remember this. These were back in the, this, this was back in the rock rock days. Mm. And Only Make Believe was just taking off, and I interviewed you. And I don't think, you know, I, you, you were about her age. Yeah. Somewhere around in there. Yeah. God, it was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of water under the bridge since then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have asked me um, about your moving around. They say, Conway, does he still live in Tulsa? No, he's in Nashville. Hmm. And you lived in Nashville, then in Tulsa, or Tulsa, Nashville, Nashville, Tulsa. And well, I had I had never lived in Nashville. All the years I've recorded there, uh, I lived out in Oklahoma uh, uh, for qu- quite a few years. And But I got to where I spent so much time in Nashville that uh, a total of about two months a year, you know, two and three weeks at a time. And... Uh, uh, Time is a critical thing with somebody in this business. You don't get to spend much time at home. And uh, I knew that it would buy me another two months at home if I lived there. So, uh, But I, I was uh, I didn't really know whether I wanted to move there or not because uh, things had been real successful. And, and uh, I thought I could see the business better from, from Oklahoma. And I was afraid if I moved there, I might get lost in everything, you know, somehow. And But I finally decided that I'd take the chance and, and buy me some more time at home and, and of course, I've been there a year and a half now, and I love it, and it hadn't affected me in any kind of way. Well, now, uh, you had a wedding in your family not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, sure did. My, uh, my youngest daughter, Jessica. That little got, darling, I, I couldn't got, believe She was here, and we talked to her, and uh, uh, she didn't say anything about this, and the next thing I knew, it was here comes the bride. Uh, yeah, well, it was just about that way with me, too. Uh, I, we knew the boy. He, he goes to Vanderbilt, and he's a, a physics major, and then... Re- really nice boy, and when she decided she was going to get married, I, it kind of uh, relieved me because I know that a single girl, you know, in this business, uh, it, you know, it can be a little tough, and uh, I feel better about it. We want to get back and talk about uh, airplanes and Conway Twitty's music and a number of other things. Okay, in just a moment. All right. Conway Twitty on the Midwest Sound Countdown at WIL. WIL, the Midwest Sound Countdown. Conway Twitty is with. We're going to we're going to do a two man show here now for the rest. We've hmm. got the the. We started with song number 40, and we're up to number two already. Oh, boy. It's so getting you, good now. You got here right right during the, the big three songs. Good. So, and then we're going to talk about where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing. Okay. 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 Tom T. Hall, Your Man Loves You, Honey. That was almost a Cal Smith song, you say, Conway? Oh, I really wanted that song for Cal. Of course, <laughs> Tom, Tom T. did a fantastic job. I would record it myself. It's a great song. <laughs> I love it. Well, you said you were... Um, now, let's... for The people are dying to know what, what you're doing here because... Um, it, we, you know, there hasn't been a word about a Conway Twitty show or anything. It's it's a it's pri- a private thing, private uh-huh. party thing uh-huh. that you're going to play. But you're going to be uh, at one of the record stores, Peaches. Right? Bit Peaches. At uh, just well after I leave here, when I leave here, I'm on my way over there for an autograph session. I noticed that Barbara Mandrell was supposed to be over there too, and uh, our booking report has her in Russellville, Arkansas. Yeah, that's tonight. what I heard you say. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's gonna be. I don't know whether she may be flying. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't know they had an airport at Russellville. Tell us, you you said you were recording all last week. Yeah, I was putting an album together for my next uh, my next single. My next single will be out in about three weeks. And you said you thought and you had written a humdinger. I think I, I think I have. And uh, uh, I, there's a, a story that goes along with this. I, I, usually, when somebody gives me a good idea for a song, I'll give them a, a third of it. You know, mm-hmm. when I write it. And uh, uh, I got a hold of the person involved on this song who gave me the idea for it. And they said, well, they'd have to pass on it. They couldn't accept it. And it was Jimmy Carter. He gave me the idea for the song. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. The president of the United States? That's right. And, uh, of course, he said, uh, you can understand, you know, why I would have to pass. I said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I just wanted to offer it to you, you know. Yeah. And uh, I got it out of the Playboy article that he, that he did, you know. And uh, I don't know if you remember this article. I, I do, yes. Uh, the name of the song is I've Already Loved You in My Mind. And it's, it's one of the best things I've ever written. All right. It's a good one. I, I kind of thought about that, and uh, that uh, will will be actually. When will that be out? Uh, it'll, it'll be it'll be out. I think it's uh, July the second, uh, I believe the second. 
All right. We'll be looking forward to that. And James Earl didn't take a third of the song. <laughs> no, I didn't. I think Billy might, though, if you offered... Uh, well, that's right. I didn't offer it to him. He'd probably He'd take want it. half of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about... Uh, you said the kids were all all right. Yep. Everybody's in good shape. Uh, what about Jeff's the recording down careers? Well, we, uh, you know, it's it's tough to get into this business, and, sure and but they know that, and they've had it well explained to them over the years, and and uh, people that, that listen to country music, like you said a while ago, you were talking about the people here in Missouri, when they when they hear a good song, they want to stick with it, they don't want to let it go, and the same way with an artist, you know, thank goodness, We're like Conway Twitty, for example, you know, and that's the thing that's so great about country music, and the, and the people that listen to country music, once once you do gain their confidence, and they do like what you do. Uh, they stick with you, and this is what I explain to my kids, you know. The very thing that makes it so hard to get into it, and, and, and pro, uh, uh, country music programming, the disc jockeys stay with with, uh, with the guys who are putting out hit records. As long as they stay within certain boundaries, they you know, they hang right with them down through the years. And this is the very thing that'll, that'll make it good for them when they do finally, uh, you know, have a hit record and get in there. Uh, the very thing that makes it so hard to get into it is the very thing that'll keep them there, and they know that, and they're looking forward to it, you and they're working hard at it. Changed all their names. Uh. Yeah, it did. I, because for you, you know, uh, if you're sitting here playing records, and and, and if, when they do have some hit records, you say, well, here's Conway Twitty, here's Kathy Twitty, here's mm -hmm. Joni Twitty, here's Michael, Twitty, <laughs> you know, and um, uh, I thought it, and they, you know, they want to try to make it kind of on their own, and and with another name, of course. A lot of people know who they are, but everybody doesn't, you know. Uh, so they feel like they've done a little more on their own. You now, know? it's Joni Lee. Mm -hmm. and uh, Jessica James. And Charlie Tango. Charlie Tango. Yeah, his first record for MCA was a thing called He Ain't Country, and it was a good record. I mean, a really good record. Is his uh, is his real name Michael, or is it Conway Michael. Jr.? It's Michael. Michael. Okay. Is there Conway Twitty Jr.? No, Mike went under that name for a while, way back, when he, when he first got started playing the little honky-tonks and things. and It helped him get some people in there, you know. And, and uh, But he's, he's got the name he's going to go with now. It's Charlie Tango. Charlie that, Tango. That, was, that, was, that was my airplane. It was 359 CT, 359 Charlie, Charlie Tango. What about the airplane? Are you still flying? No, I quit flying about two years ago. I, I was sitting up there one day flying along all by myself, and I thought, what in the world am I doing up here? <laughs> I'm supposed to be down there picking that guitar. I ain't supposed to be up here. And I quit, and uh, I hired a couple of pilots to fly. That was a jet I had. Mm -hmm. And um, finally, Loretta Lynn talked me into buying a bus. I had never owned a bus. And she said, you get a lot more rest, and it's just it's a whole lot better. And so I decided I'd try it, and I bought me one of those big buses and put the nice interior in it, and I've really been enjoying it. It's uh, a lot different on that bus. Uh, flying has gotten to be uh, such a... Uh, you're so busy up there in the, what they yeah, call the office. That's now, right. Uh, that's right. You've got to be. Uh, with with all so the radio traffic. and all the, all the things that are going on, you're busy all the time. And by the time you get to a show, I'm sure you'd be worn out yeah. if you had any length at all to fly. It's a job. It's a full-time job, too. <laughs> you've yeah. got to stay on top of everything. So you can kind of kick up your heels on the bus a little bit. Conway Twitty, uh, let's listen to your, your uh, last hit song and it was a hit number one here yeah, that was another another number one record for me and we recognize that right away as a number one song uh, oh yeah there is one thing before we play this what about the i can't love you enough thing where did that come from the one uh, you and Loretta there's had. a friend of mine that i've been associated with down through the years and, and i'm sure you know the name his name is troy seals he's a fantastic oh, yeah. songwriter he's a great singer too and uh, we go back together about 20 years i introduced him to his wife a long time ago and I went to Troy, and I took the song that Loretta and I had, Louisiana Woman, Mississippi Man. I took him the record, and I said, Loretta and I have had two ballads out in a row. I'll see if you can come up with something for us uh, along this line, not just like this, but along this line. He said, okay, and two, two days later he walked in, and, 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 uh, and he laid that song on me. And I said, boy, that's a good one. I think Loretta liked this. And she did, and we recorded it, and that's what you got. And it's a good one, too. It, uh, as a matter of fact, it was what we call the action brand. It was an audience reaction song before it got in the survey. Then it was the, the Climber of the Week last week, and it was a Climber of the Week this week. And uh, we've already run by it on the survey. But yeah, it, I heard it. It is some kind of song. Really Thank is. you. Appreciate it. Let's listen to you right now. Conway Twitty on the Midwest Sound Countdown. And uh, it's one of my favorites. Thank Go ahead and introduce it. Well, this, this, this song, Walter, kind of gives a, a fan an insight on, on, on what goes on in, in the mind of any picker anywhere any guitar picker you know he's up on stage and he's singing his songs and, and the things that go through his mind and uh, fans are interested in this kind of thing and uh, if you listen to the words in this song it tells you let me see cotton growing in the field let me hear my mama calling 
Conway Twitty at WIL on the Midwest Sound Count. Now, Conway, it, it's been uh, real good having you having you come to the studio. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll look forward to our next visit, and uh, I'm sure that you're going to be uh, coming into we'll, we'll Twitty Birds and right. It's uh, Six Flags. I don't know the date, but uh, it's just, you know it's sometime in, within the next couple of months. I, I'll tell all the people on the air because I've got their complete booking schedule, and uh, it's on there. So we'll let them know on. Uh, well, Davey will let them know. We'll, yeah. we'll dig that thing up, and Davey Lee is coming on, and he'll let them know. Yeah, we always have a good time out there. That's a great place. Have you still got the same uh, same guys in the band? Same guys, yeah. Been with them for years. Chop still bashful. Pork chop. Little, uh, Pork chop still bashful, yeah. 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 Real shy, kind of backward. <laughs> 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 He's been with me, what, 17 years now. That is, uh, that's almost as a record that we've set. Davey Lee and I, everybody, when you say we've been here 10 <laughs> years next year, and uh, one of the record promotion men said, that's incredible. <laughs> Johnny Rodriguez says, that is just unreal, you know. Well, and I guess it is in this business. Well, like I said a while ago, these Missouri folks don't want to lose a good thing. They that's the way it change, is. Right? That's right. Okay, we've gone all the way from song number 40 to song number 1. And we've got the big one coming up. Thanks again, Conway Twitty, for helping you, us well. on the Midwest Sound Countdown. And if you're ready, we are. W-I-L number one. 